House of Holland started in 2006 when I decided to make some t-shirts really for a laugh. My uh, company started on the back of a joke, which was uh, four slogan t-shirts with rhyming couplets on them, uh, which were uh, very heavily sexually laden. It started out really as a bit of fun, as a sort of side project alongside my job working in teen magazines, and very quickly became my full-time career. For the first collection of menswear, we've kept it completely separate from the women's wear collection because I wanted it to really affirm its own status as being a standalone collection whilst portraying the same DNA of the brand. I have a much more personal connection to the clothes as in uh, with each piece I design, I look at it as do I want that, is that desirable to me, can I see that as being fitting in as part of my wardrobe, do I want to buy that. So I think I have a slightly more commercial brain when designing menswear, as slightly more uh, restrictions in terms of silhouettes and shapes that you can explore. I think the inspiration behind our first collection was really just the customer itself, the House of Holland man. We looked at his characteristics, his pastimes, what he does, what other brands he wears, how he likes to uh, incorporate his personality into his clothes. Yeah, there's a real balance between this smart and casual world and the way that these pieces are mixed together to create a certain look. And you know, he wears trainers and t-shirts with his suits, and he wears his football shirts with you know a leather tracksuit, for example, just in the collection where we put it together. So it was really building up um, a collection almost as a wardrobe of pieces, and then the way that those were paired together and styled is what created the character and the person that we were trying to portray. The, the menswear collection has, is, is referenced and has influences from my personal connections to menswear growing up. So like the football shirts I used to wear as a teenager um, and sort of the, the denim and the neon flashes of stuff I used to wear in the 90s and shouldn't have. Um, and so I thought it would be really fun to go back to my hometown um, of Ramsbottom um, and shoot it around the town and incorporate the town into the shoot because I felt like that was um, an interesting way of us portraying the clothes from a Martin perspective and he would be able to document the town and, and get the feel of that northern town. So I think there's so much about the humour to my work and the personality behind my work and what I really try and instill in it comes from my upbringing and comes from the place that I grew up and the people that I grew up with. And it was a little dull while we were there, but didn't it get brightened up by the characters of the people? Yeah. Everyone's got a sense of humour there and everyone's happy to take the piss out of themselves. And that's a really important part of my upbringing and that self-effacing humour that I think is very northern and very British. I managed to buy a print of his from a charity auction that Rankin had put on for Oxfam when I ran the marathon a few years ago. And then when I first met Martin, uh, he I was talking to him about his fashion magazine, which I'd also bought from Colette a few years before. And, um, he was like, oh, it's a shame you don't have your fashion magazine with you, I could have signed it. And I pulled out my print from under the table and was like, I don't have my fashion magazine, but I do have this huge framed print, maybe you can sign that. And he was like, okay. The best thing about working with Martin was um, just being able to create imagery that is, for me, so iconic, but can, like, incorporate some of my work as well. Like him documenting my work is just a real honour, and I was really proud to be able to work with him. We started talking about working on it just with Martin shooting the collection and then that evolved into creating some of the pieces and um, using some of Martin's more um, iconic imagery. And it kind of evolved around this idea of how I wanted to present the collection. And that was um, as this kind of hybrid of, um, as, an exhi uh, as a photography exhibition private view slash static fashion presentation. So we're creating this space within the Selfridges car park to exhibit Martin's imagery and also exhibit the clothes.